我们的耕作像雪山，人类的历史上，它向表面生人类伸手四分之一的珍贵人，伸手站立起来了，像那些。没文化的马，给你们民心发动吧！让他们去说你们，这也不行，那也不行吧？针对人民的无耻不要的努力，必将永不的打破自己的目的。As early as 80, oh, 87. Again, this very room, the British journalist Jordan, Jonathan Muskie, Jonathan Muskie. Muskie, uh, I interviewed here, and he asked me if you see things become out of control, uh, violence, then what do you do? Then I categorically read. Immediately I told, if things become out of control, then my only option is complete resign. I'm completely resigned. about Tibet. So that I already semi-retired position. Now I'm looking for complete retirement. And as early as 1992, one of my political statements, I made clear, as soon as I return to Tibet with a certain degree of freedom, I will hand it over all my legitimate authority to the local Tibetan government. Then I'm no longer as a leader. and ate roast barley meal and yak butter tea. You had a privileged priest class living in utter luxury and opulence, and you had a mass of serfs living in utter misery. And if you broke the law, then torture and mutilation, including eye gouging, the pulling out of tongues, and even disemboweling were reportedly common punishments. The Dalai Lama sounds more like Mo Howard than a saint. <laughs>
those are, uh, those are eyeballs. Since Mr. Lama has been run out of Tibet, the Chinese have introduced secular education, running water, and electricity. So maybe life is a bit better on the ground there. Of course, the Chinese have also thrown thousands into labor camps and prisons, stopped with as much free speech as possible, and there's that whole fucked up communism thing. But if you ask Tenzin Gyatso, DBA Lama, <laughs> what is it with these holy people and their aliases? His holiness will tell you that he must return to power for the good of his people. In this case, good may translate into his people living in squalor and his government condoning slavery. Chinese in 1959, their leader, the Dalai Lama, has been traveling the globe with a trite greeting card philosophy and a warm smile, desperately trying to enlist help in his quest to free Tibet and return to power. If I wake up in your mind, I guess you're right. I guess you're smart. Cause I'm taking by you taking me apart I could best believe I died to live For, for the hour to take for me And I am speaking like I'm spoken only for This idea that he's a, a humble spiritual man With just a robe and a bowl 